All new information tonight on the death of an elderly couple in Ed Couch. They say the pair were found dead in their home on Saturday. Most likely they died from the heat. Tonight they are asking everyone to take extra precautions with elderly loved ones. CBS 4's Joelle Flores explains how. Eddie, Ed Couch police tell us the couple had no air conditioning inside their home and all windows and doors were shut. A dangerous combination for anyone trying to beat the heat. But there are some precautions that you can take to save your life. Where it is really bad is when you have high temperatures and a very high humidity because then your body can't get rid of the, the heat fast enough. On Saturday, Ed Couch police discovered the bodies of an elderly couple. They believe their deaths were caused by the heat inside their home. They were good people, quiet people. They never bothered anybody and kept to themselves. Health experts say it's important to know how to keep yourself hydrated and cool in this scorching valley heat. Wear light colored loose clothing, like myself, gray, and like yourself too, light colored long sleeve, perfect. If you're not going to wear long sleeve, sunblock. Also, wear a hat help protect your face and you remember you got to keep yourself hydrated as well because you're all going to lose salt and electrolytes so you want to replenish it too and lastly once you finish and you get into your vehicle always make sure to open up that car door let some of that heat out that way when you go in there you're not walking into a sauna so far this year, Hidalgo County EMS has treated 50 individuals for heat strokes or exhaustion, but identifying the signs are key. A lot of sweating, perspiration, and they start going off into more severe to where they start feeling lightheaded, a little bit dizzy, a little bit of vertigo. Eventually they can get worse to where they stop sweating. Their skin starts getting uh, cherry red, their body starts shutting down and causing death. Dr. Dan Guerra, family practitioner in McAllen, says animals, kids, and the elderly are most susceptible to suffering heat exhaustion. He says if you don't have access to air conditioning at home, there are free options to beat the heat. If it gets to the point that it is so hot, then you need to take advantage of what the community has in terms of air conditioning, air conditioned facilities. So, you know, in the heat of the day, go spend the afternoon at the mall. The Hidalgo County Emergency Management Department taking a proactive approach, currently discussing how they can offer shelters or places for people to beat the heat. So don't forget to stay hydrated. Live in Hidalgo County, Joel Flores, CBS4 News and Valley Central.com.